Hello and good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday morning, except I can barely call it morning at this point because it is in fact almost 11 a.m. And I, I fell into the trap of just like jumping right into work and not getting ready. Like I got Grace settled with her nanny. Then I was like, oh, I have this one thing I wanna do on my laptop. And then, oh, my meeting is in 30 minutes. I don't, I don't wanna be late to that. So I'll just shower after that. And then, oh, I guess I'll just do this other email thing real quick. And then before you know it, I am in the danger territory of not showering today. And I really want to shower. I really need to wash my hair. It's been five days since I washed it. And actually now that it's out, I'm like, hey, it doesn't look that bad, but my scalp is starting to feel a little itchy and oily. So I really want to wash it and just reset. Um, since I used this like heated round brush thing last week to give myself a little blowout, I was testing it for a Schultze Collective video where we're trying products from TikTok shop. And let's see, that video is not coming out till March. So I'll only minorly spoil it here, but I was pleasantly surprised. I feel like it worked really well. And even now I'm like looking at my hair, I'm like, I, I could do another day. I mean, yeah, my scalp's a little oily and starting to feel a little bit itchy, but like looks wise, I could touch this up in five minutes and be ready to go. No, no, I wanna wash my hair. <laughs> I'm really craving that like clean scalp feeling. So goodbye to the blowout and we are back to my natural hair. Good girl. Almost 30 weeks, bump shot. It is a gloomy, rainy day in Southern California and I love it. I love the rain. It's rare here. So it's like exciting and cozy. And I have this window in front of my desk so I can see the rain falling. I can hear that little like pitter patter on the roof. It's very peaceful. Um, and now that I am showered and feeling much more refreshed, I am going to jump back into my work here. Let's see. I'm going to download the second February video to review and send notes on. Rachel just sent that over. And while this is downloading, I have the second draft, the final version of the first February video, which is our black owned small business haul already downloaded and the thumbnails done. So it is ready to be scheduled. That's going live on Wednesday, right? Wednesday. Originally it was going to be Friday, but we moved it up because we had it ready a little bit early. And I feel like the, the earlier we can get this video up during February, which is black history month, the better to support these businesses and entrepreneurs. So I am going to get that scheduled. Oh, no, this, I am logged into the blog channel. It's honestly amazing that I don't make that mistake more often, like accidentally uploading things to the wrong channel, but okay. Need to pull the links and everything for all of the businesses to put in the description and write the description and the tags and everything. So I'm gonna work on that and then review the other video. And then I think it'll probably be lunchtime. And I got a lot done this morning when I was in my pajama working on my laptop mode. So I think my afternoon today is gonna be pretty light, pretty chill. Update, I'm taking my lunch and I'm having Indian food food for lunch, which I'm pretty sure is exactly what I had in the last vlog. But I am just, I am all about this right now. So good. All right, post lunch, rain is still falling out the window. I'm still at my desk getting uh, my work done. I finished up the stuff for those Schultz Collective videos and I'm, I'm really proud of both of these videos. Really excited to share them, which is always like such a satisfying feeling, seeing the final product and feeling like, ah, oh, it all turned out the way that we had imagined it. And I think you guys are really gonna like it. So that's got me in a good mood. Also, Jaden's here. Hello. Right over there also has me in a good mood. <laughs> it's just the two of us in the office today. A little uh, cozy rainy day work vibe. I have a meeting here in uh, 30 minutes at two o'clock for the recreating celebrity photos video. This is our meeting with Tony where we're going over all of the creative stuff now that the photos have been selected. And also one of the things Jaden was working on today was going through a bunch of the packages that I've gotten delivered because we ordered all of the costume and prop stuff last week. So those have started to trickle in and it's just a lot of little things, a lot of moving parts to keep track of. So she was organizing all of that. Also in going through the packages, I have two boxes from different maternity brands. So I'm thinking um, after this meeting, we can do a little try on haul. The other thing on my to-do list before this meeting was to work on my vlog filming and editing schedule for the next couple months. And I just finished that up. So since I have a little bit more time, I'm gonna go through the comments on 
the vlog that I posted today because I talked about um, the books that I've been reading lately in that vlog and I asked you guys for book recommendations and I read through it a little bit this morning and there were some really good recommendations. So I wanna go through, respond to some comments and uh, add some of these books to my reading list. Oh, you know what else I have to do? I need to call my OB because she called me on Friday to schedule my growth ultrasound, but I missed the call and I was with Grace. So I was like, I'll just call back on Monday when the office reopens and that is now. Hello, I'm returning a missed call from this office to schedule my growth ultrasound. Awesome, thank you, I appreciate it. All right, what was I gonna do? Comments. <laughs> Let's get some book recommendations. All right, bye, thanks, thanks Tony. <laughs> Bye. 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 Oh, I love Tony. I'm so, so excited for this shoot. We're getting ahead on a lot of our shoots right now because Rachel's maternity leave starts in just a couple weeks and then mine is a month after that. So it's good that we're getting ahead. Um, like this video isn't gonna go live until April. And sometimes I wonder like when I'm talking about videos that are going live so far in advance, like should I even say it on the vlog? Cause you have to wait so long for the, the actual video. But then I feel like it's way more annoying to be like, I have a meeting for a secret project. <laughs> it's not a secret. You just, you just gotta wait a little bit. But I was dying on the call because um, one of the photos we're recreating, it's Paloma's recreation, is this really iconic photo of Shakira. And when Paloma was sending the pictures over, she sent, you know, the actual photo and then also the picture of the goat from Zootopia. Is it a goat? I think it's an antelope. But like that Shakira look was so iconic and she sang in Zootopia. They modeled this character and the outfit the character is wearing out after this look. So Paloma sent that picture to be like, you know, and it was so iconic. It was e even featured in Zootopia. And Tony, sweet Tony, in the most earnest voice goes, now, you know, just one clarifying question on the Shakira photo. Um, will she be a goat? <laughs> like, are, are we shooting human Shakira or goat Shakira? Because <laughs> you guys sent both photos. <laughs> oh, and I could not stop laughing after that. That was too much. We're, we're not doing goat Shakira, just, just good old regular Shakira. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go refill my water and then uh, let's try on some maternity clothes. I have some packages with clothes that in theory will actually fit me right now because I have not reached the stage in pregnancy where I feel like, I feel like I'm Regina George when she's like, sweatpants are all that fit me right now. I'm wearing like the same few maternity pants day after day. So I have a package from Pink Blush and from Stork, both of which were gifted to me. So thank you so much to these brands. Um, I've tried stuff from both of them, most recently in the Schultze Collective maternity haul, and I really liked a lot of what I've tried. So I'm excited to try more and have some new comfy maternity stuff to wear. So from Pink Blush, we have this super cute green floral mini dress. I love this style. I'm gonna try all this stuff on too. So we'll keep the, the unboxing part brief because what I'm most excited for is to actually put these clothes on my body. And the pink blush stuff, um, I know what's in this package because they let me pick a couple things from their website. The Stork package, they just asked me if they could send me some stuff. So that one is a mystery to me. But next thing we have here, this comfy light brown basic tee, this purple floral maxi skirt. This looked so cute on the website. And I love this color. I feel like this could be a great thing to wear for Easter since I'm gonna be super pregnant. And then last, oh my gosh, this is so soft. Super soft and cozy brown sweater. And now let's try it all on. Oh my gosh, how cute is this? I love this little mini dress. It's got the smocked top, little fluttery sleeves, nice and flowy, cute little ruffle at the bottom, and it has pockets. Super, super happy with this. Also something that I feel like I can keep in my closet and wear when I'm not pregnant because it's just kind of that like loose, flowy style. Love, love, love. Okay, next up, I love the look of this skirt. Like the color, the print, the like 
flowiness. It's very like springtime sound of music. Let me go frolic in a field vibe. Um, and the fabric is nice and airy. The only thing is I wish it was just a little bit shorter. It's not quite dragging on the ground. So I can definitely still wear it. I just feel like if it was like a couple inches higher, maybe like mid calf, it would be perfect for me. But I'm still very into it. And then the top got it tucked in, but we'll untuck it so I can show you the length. It's a nice fit and I'm really happy to have just like a, a neutral maternity fit t-shirt like this. So I feel like I'll wear it a lot. I just wish it was a little bit thicker. The quality on this isn't the highest, but it's still something I think I'm gonna end up wearing a lot because it's so neutral. And last we have the sweater. I love this so much. It's like the softest material. It feels like very luxurious and just stretchy and buttery. I, I'm whatever this fabric is, I'm loving it. And then I really like the fit too with just the slits on the side. So no matter how my belly grows out, it will continue to fit nicely. Definitely a win. And I really like the like nice rich brown color. Probably going to be the piece from Pink Blush that I'm reaching for the most because I already feel like, you know, I could just cozy up in this for the rest of the day. And now my package from Stork. I am so excited when they reached out to me. I was like so, so happy because everything that I've tried from them has just been like unreal quality, so cozy, so practical. Let's see. Oh, cute. Really nice cream colored maternity sweats. And this looks like a matching jacket. Yes, this is the foundation sweatshirt. And those were the foundation sweats. Oh, I love a matching set like this, especially when it's neutral like this, so you can mix and match it with so many other things. Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, I think it's a bag. Is this like a diaper bag? Oh, cute. This is their carry-all tote. It zips up and has like tons of pockets on the inside. Ooh, a chunky knit cardigan. I love a sweater like this. Oh my gosh, this feels so nice. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try this one on. And we've got one more thing inside. Oh my gosh, they sent their leggings. I really wanted to try their leggings. Oh my God, they're so soft. Oh, these are like butter. These are their signature leggings. I, I've got to put these on. These in the cardigan. Let's start there. Oh my gosh. I am like blown away by these leggings. They, they fit and they look like a true legging. But the material and also like the breathability, like I don't feel compressed at all by these. They That feels more, almost more like a pajama pant or a jogger, but they're fitted and they, they still have that like nice, smooth legging silhouette. I, I am blown away. I wish you could feel these. If I had the ability to feel these through the website, I would have purchased these a long time ago because wow. All right, I found the new thing I'm gonna be wearing every day. Let's put the sweater on too. I just, I needed to, to give the leggings their moment the second that I put them on because I just can't believe how comfortable I am. Also with just how much I'm raving about these, I should say none of this is sponsored. Um, as I said, these clothes were gifted to me, but like not paid for it. There's nothing I'm supposed to say or show. I'm just uh, obsessed. <laughs> and the cardigan, this is nice. Very comfy. I like the look and it fits nicely over the bump right now without the buttons pulling, but it's not really like maternity wear. So I feel like this is something that I can continue to wear long after baby's here. And that's like a big thing with Stork. They try to design their stuff for long-term wear, like after pregnancy as well. I think I like it more unbuttoned like this. Oh my gosh, this baby is moving so much right now. I feel like usually I feel the most movement when I'm like sitting down or laying down, not really doing anything. But even though I'm standing up and moving around, she is, she is on the move. I think that's like an elbow or a knee. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna take a picture in this outfit before I change into the next. Also, I'm just kind of trying to delay changing out of these leggings, which I am absolutely gonna be changing right back into as soon as I finish this little try on haul. Gosh, they're just so soft. The only thing that I'm like slightly worried about with these is will they wear out fast because the material is so, so soft. Like how quickly am I gonna get a hole in the thighs with these? But wow, just wow. And they fit so nicely over the bump. I wonder if I can wear these 
postpartum too. I feel like I probably could. And then we have the cream sweat set. This fits really nicely. I also just really appreciate the comfort. It's like fleece lined on the inside. The elastic band is really stretchy and it doesn't press in too much on my belly. I love this for pregnancy and I feel like I'm, I'm also really gonna appreciate it postpartum. Okay, I'm changing back into this for the rest of the day and honestly just will be in these leggings for the foreseeable future because why would why would I wear anything else but these? Oh my gosh, I I'm in love. I'm in love. Well, that was fun. Very excited about my new stuff. I set aside the brown sweater from Pink Blush so I can wear that tomorrow. I think it's gonna be rainy again tomorrow. Yep, cold and rainy for the next few days, actually. Um, and Tuesdays I'm with Grace and it's our busier day together. She has her toddler, like parent and me class in the morning. That started up again at the end of January and it's just a lot of fun. She really loves it. And it's like through the same preschool program that we wanna send her to when she is old enough to move up to that class. So it's kind of like a nice stepping stone to get used to like how class goes and circle time and doing the crafts and washing our hands and going outside, but having like mom with her. So we do that in the morning and then the middle of the day, we usually keep nice and chill at home because she also has dance in the evenings on Tuesdays. So all this to say, I feel like that sweater will be nice and comfy and functional for tomorrow, I will also probably rewear these leggings. I think I'll just wash them tonight when I get home because I have a couple other things that I wanna wash. Um, speaking of when I get home, I am going somewhere in, let me text my brother. Oh, I'm actually gonna leave in like 20 minutes at four o'clock, wrapping up early here so that I can go help take care of the baby, my nephew. Last week, my sister-in-law gave birth. I am now an aunt and oh, I'm just so, so happy for them. I love, I love that sweet little baby so much. So I'm excited to go over there and see him and see them and be a helping hand. So Steven's gonna be home with Grace for a couple hours this evening while I go do that. He got to go a couple days ago too and you know, meet the baby and help with some of the techie stuff. And we're both, we're both just so happy. I, our whole family is just absolutely on cloud nine about the, the sweetest little addition. So very excited to go over there. And I think, yeah, I think I am pretty much good to go. Oh, I guess I have one more thing I can do. I finished editing a TikTok this morning. So I will go ahead and post that and then I'll go downstairs and say hi to Grace and her nanny for a little bit before I head out. Oh, it is 6.30. I just got back in the car from my brother's house about to drive home and oh, it's just so special to be a, around a baby that little that you love so much. And I'm just so, I, I'm just so proud of my brother and my sister-in-law. They're doing amazing. And all the warm fuzzies. Now home to my little baby who is not so little anymore, but it feels like it was five seconds ago that she was. All right. We got Steve on the camera again. Woo! I did get a haircut. I don't know when the last time I was on camera, but I did get a haircut a week ago. Two weeks ago? I don't know. Anyways, we got Sierra and Grace are in the bath. Um, I don't know, for better or for worse. <laughs> I feel like, uh, I don't know, two months ago, month ago? I don't know anything, guys, come on. Some time ago, I, Grace and Sierra were taking a bath together. So they started like taking baths in the in our big tub. And so one of the first times I, like, I surprised them, I brought in like a big platter. It was like berries and just tons of stuff. I think it was a big fruit platter. And then I also had like little like yogurt pouch and gummy bears and Grace was just so excited. But now that is, a kind of raise the expectation high <laughs> on bath time. I don't do it every time, but I did just do it tonight. Well, a pretty crappy version, but I did do a version. So they're in there having fun. And yeah, cleaning up dinner tonight. I made some good old burritos, pretty simple burritos. I'm all about team simple dinners now. And yeah, it's just been raining a crap ton today. It is still raining right now. Anyways, Sierra is doing bath time. Then I think she and Grace are gonna start doing the bedtime routine. So I might slip upstairs um, since I was with Grace while she was at her brother's house. I think, and I think she also has like the baby kicks after visiting her brother. <laughs> She's like, I wanna spend time with Grace. So they're gonna do bedtime. I'll probably go upstairs. I have a little bit of work I might do tonight. Um, I'm also like slowly doing like the whole tax thing. Like one, like just our own personal taxes. Then two, like I help manage like the business taxes. So it's just a crazy time. It's probably like the busiest time of the year for me regarding my sweet wife's career but i have a lot of fun and it's like it's been more fun over the years too i don't know it's just it's just cool i'm gonna do some of that and then i'll probably play a little bit of video games right now i'm playing far cry i don't even know what one i'm playing the newest far cry so i'm playing that probably play a little bit tonight and then i'll go to bed it's another lovely boring night with steve but i'm probably gonna put the camera down here we'll see when steve appears again peace <laughs>
So I'm going to need pajama shirt and pajama shorts. This is for you. That's the one I should wear? Yeah. Sure. It's a cute little set. Um, and those are the matching bottoms. Should I wear the matching ones? And the matching ones. Yeah. Thank you. We are getting ready for bed. I got this cute little pajama set from Groupie Pajamas, a small business. Who adopted this? I got these for a video. Ooh. Yeah. I just, I just love my baby. You love your baby? Oh, I love the baby too, huh? Mommy, we share the baby. The baby is part of our family. So it's your baby Mommy, sister. We need to decide to name her. We do. We need to decide what to name her. That's true. Okay. All right. You ready for bed? Yeah, I'm ready for bed. All right. All right. That is going to be it for this video. I'm going to link this pajama company in the description. They're groupie pajamas. They're one of the businesses from our black owned business hall this month on the Schultz Collection. Collective. And uh, that is all I have for you today. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.